Welcome to Crojo Corner. My name is Laura. Thank you so much for being here. And if you are watching the replay, thank you as well. Today, I have 35 patterns to show you, which are all free. And they are a variety of patterns, such as wearables, home decor, and a lot of other things. So um, I will, be, will wait for a few people to come into the room and greet them. And then I will show you these 35 patterns. And this is a designer spotlight. And the designer is Jamie from Dabbles and Babbles. And uh, she has some really great free patterns. And I suggest that you uh, pull up Ravelry on your laptop or whatever, you know, app you have it on. So that way, when I tell you the name of the pattern, you can save it in your favorites or in your library. And then you can have it to look at for future use. Because like I said, these are all free patterns and, you know, you can't beat that. So um, let's go ahead and start greeting our friends that are coming in from Ursula's. We were just over there at OM Granny Square. And if you haven't checked her out, make sure you check out her channel because it's really good. Hi, Sophia from Cactus Craft Cafe. How are you? I hope you're doing good today. It's really good to see you. What is on your hook, Sophia? What you making? And A Stitch in Time by Lisa says, hello all. Hi, Lisa. How are you? It's good to see you. Hi, Cammie. He says, in stitches raid. Thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate it. Hi, Margie. How are you? It's good to see you from Margie's Crafty Corner. And have a go, Joanne, says Square Ray. Thank you for coming in, Joe. I appreciate it. <clears throat> Hi, Jeanette. She says, Hi, Laura, and everyone in the chat. It's good to see you, Jeanette, from DOY Creations. And Sandrina's here. Howdy, y'all. Hi. How are you, Drini? Ooh, that was a blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I'm reading too fast and I'm talking too, I don't know if I'm reading too slow and talking too fast. So, how are you, Sandrine? I hope you're doing good today. And let's see, uh, Jeanette says, hi, Margie and Cammy, And she's saying hello to Sandrine. And have a go, Joe says, hi from Scotland. Thank you again for being here, Joe. I appreciate that from all around the world here from me. And Cammy saying hello to Jeanette. Um, I hope you guys had a really uh, good week. And uh, what do you guys have going on for the weekend? Hopefully it's something fun. Let me know in the chat. And Donna from Not The End says, Square Raid, hello everyone in the chat. Hi Donna, how are you? Thank you so much for being here, I appreciate it. What is the weather like where you guys are here? It is 70 degrees and cloudy and a little bit rainy. And uh, hence the reason why I didn't curl my hair today, I know it looks weird, <laughs> but I have to leave at right after this and I don't want to go out in the rain with hair that I've already done and smoothed out and then just have it go get curly and frizzy anyway. So we just went with the curly look today. And Roberta S. says, good afternoon, Laura, and everyone coming in. Hi, Roberta. How are you? It's good to see you, and happy belated birthday to you. And Angela Poppy Lady says, square raid. Hi, Crojo, and everybody in the chat. Good to see you, Poppy. Thank you for being here. Hi, Sheila. How are you? Thank you for coming in. Hi, Sally. How are you? Thank you for coming in. It's good to see you. Hello, Miss Ursula. Thank you for raiding me with your... um all of your friends and willing around with joy says square raid hello all hi joy how are you hi kim how are you thank you for coming in yarning for a smile and uh jeanette saying hi to roberta and sally ursula says hi there all you lovelies in the chat and sophia says your hair looks beautiful oh thank you sophia it is just uh scrunch dried and um 80s style <laughs> the spray and the blow dryer kind of a thing because it's raining out here um Ursula says, we need more thummies. Yes, please hit the thumbs for me. Uh, Amy Long de Crochet says, hey, Laura. Hello, Amy. How are you? It's good to see you. We're going to be looking at 35 free patterns today, and I will be putting those up in just a second. I'm almost caught up in chat. And Suzanne, the Swedish yarny hooker, says, square raid. Thank you for being here, Suzanne. Hi, Faith. Thank you for coming in. Hi, Granny. How are you? It's good to see you again. I've seen you on the YouTube streets already today. And Sally saying hi to Jeanette. And, oh, Cammie's on shawl number 12. You are going like crazy. That's awesome, Cammie. I am proud of you. That's really cool. So let's take a look at some free patterns today, guys. 
I have a designer spotlight today, and it is from Jamie from Dabbles and Babbles. And we have a lot of pretty patterns for you to look at. Now, this is a hooded scarf, and this is using worsted weight yarn and a five millimeter hook. And you'll only need about 760 yards for this pattern. And it's so cute. This would be really cute for kids or adults, you know. It's very nice, looks pretty easy to make. <clears throat> very pretty. I love the hood. I love anything with a hood on it. So I thought that was really cute. And that's just called Hooded Scarf. And again, we are looking at patterns from Jamie from Dabbles and Babbles. Let's click on her little thing here. This is her. Let's see here. And let's see. She's got... See, she's from Canada. Okay. All right. It doesn't really say any, uh, I thought it would have a little uh, blurb or something like that, but it doesn't. That's okay. This is the Primrose Baby Blanket. Now, this is gorgeous. Now, all of these patterns are free that I'm showing today. So make sure that if you like them, write down the name. I love the colors of this blanket and the stitch is so pretty. I don't know what this stitch is. Is it a Primrose Stitch? Is that the name of the stitch? Because it's called Primrose Baby Blanket. Or maybe Primrose is the one of the colors of the yarn. I'm not sure. But this sure is pretty. I love that. Let me go back to chat real quick. <clears throat> Granny says, hey, Faith, sweet Amy, Cami, Cam, Sally, and all here working on a basket. Ooh, fun. Jesse Claire says, hi, everyone. Thank you for coming in, Jesse. It's good to see you. Carrie says, Ursula, how are you here too? LOL. <laughs> Sally says, I think we should call Cami the Shawl King. Yes, I think so too. I love the hair, says Ursula. Thank you, Ursula. Uh, Jeanette says, hello again, Ursula and Granny D. And Sally saying hi to Granny. Carrie says, I couldn't take the meat combo, so I popped over here instead, but it's my own fault for asking. <laughs> That's funny. And uh, Aisha's Handmade Item says, hi, Laura. Hello, Aisha. How are you? It's good to see you. If you haven't checked out Aisha's channel, make sure you do so. Rebecca McCauley says, hi, everyone. How's everyone doing? Thanks for being here, Rebecca. And Granny says, oh, mercy. I think I failed to say hello to Laura. I always try to greet the host or hostess first. You know what, Granny? I don't even know if you did or not because I'm just going through the chat. You know how it goes. So thank you and hello to you again. And I think you did, though, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Amy Long Crochet says, hi, sweet Granny D. And a Angel Renee today says, hi, everyone. A little late. Mom duty gets me running around. That's okay. I'm only on the second pattern. I've been blabbing for the last 10 minutes. And, oh, my goodness, Carrie. Carrie just gifted a uh, Crojo membership, and it went to Faith. That's awesome, Carrie. I really appreciate that. So let me um, do this real quick. This is for Faith. Where is it? Okay, this is for you, Faith, from Carrie. And this is for you, Carrie. I really appreciate you. Carrie. Hopefully things didn't just get too dark um, on the screen of me because um, I just accidentally knocked over my ring light and it's on the other side of the table and I'm not going to go get up and get it. So hopefully it's not too dark. That darn thing gets in the way. I have too much crap on my table. I need to clean it off. Um, let's see here. Poppy says, hi, Ursula and D and Dee Dee. And uh, Faith says, thank you, Carrie. Steve says, Laura and everyone. Hello. Hello, Steve. Thank you for coming in. And Lydia says, hi, Laura. Hello, Lydia. Thank you for coming in. Chris's Kaleidoscope says, hi, everyone. Square Raid, thank you for being here, Chris. And Sally just gave me a super chat. Thank you so much, Sally. I really appreciate that. This is for you, my friend.
Thank you, Sally. I appreciate that. And Carrie says, I honest, honestly wish I had more to give. You know what? You can only give what you can, and you don't even have to give anything. So I really appreciate that. Um, I really do. Natural Nene says, hello, everyone. Hi, Renee. Thank you for being here. It's good to see you. Hi, Keith, Crochet, and more. How are you? It's good to see you, Keith. I hope you're doing good today. How you feeling? Okay, let's uh, go back to Ravelry because I have 35 free patterns to show you, and I think I'm only on number two. And this is just a really pretty primrose baby blanket. And we are looking at patterns today from Jamie from Dabbles and Babbles, J-A-M-E-Y. And all of these patterns are free. I have 35 of them. And this is the Moss Stitch Cowl. Now, Granny D, Moss Stitch Alert. You might like this because I know that's one of your favorite stitches here. This is using worsted weight and a 10 millimeter hook. And you only need 510 yards. Very pretty. Maritza, uh, drop doesn't work here if you want to drop your channel. Uh, just type in the word Crojo Corner. There's a banner going across the screen, and it'll tell you exactly what to drop, and a Nightbot will drop your channel. Not every channel uses the word drop. Some of us have, like, customized words to have the Nightbot drop our channels. So that's all. You're welcome to drop it. And so this is called the Moss, Sti Moss Stitch Cowl. And like I said, the worsted weight and a 10 millimeter hook. So you can have this done like in a day. And I don't think I told you what this was using. This is a bulky weight and a six and a half millimeter hook for the Primrose Baby Blanket. And it's approximately 28 by 28 inches uh, big. Now, here are some really cute slippers, I thought, with some tassels. My cats would eat the crap out of those. Um, they're called tassel slip-on slippers. And they're using worsted weight and a four and a half millimeter hook. These are super cute, though. They look like little shoes. They look easy enough as well. And let's see here. And you only need 180 to 200 yards. So that's not bad. And then I thought this was adorable. This is called the Halloween Cat Beanie. Now, what I like about this designer is she has a variety of patterns. She's not just basically doing all hats or all sweaters or all blankets. She has a nice mix of patterns. So, you know, stick around because there's a lot of different things that I'm going to show you today. And all of them are free. Um, this is using worsted weight and a five millimeter hook. I thought this was really cute. It looks like you're basically just doing like what a, a square. I've never made one like this. I think I was going to make one similar to this on my knitting machine and I never did, but this is using worsted weight and a five millimeter hook. And then here we have the easy wear cardigan. This is free. Nice free cardigan pattern using bulky weight and an eight millimeter hook. Um, let's see here. You need 10, 15 to 12, 70 yards, and you need eight millimeter hook, bulky weight yarn. This is super cute. Now, I don't know how much, what size that's for, and it didn't say what sizes it comes in, but it's free, so you can always check it out. You like the emojis, Carrie? <laughs> I'm looking at my phone over here, my extra phone, my old phone, I should say. I have to have that pulled up so I can see things. Okay, let me get back to the chat real quick, and then we'll continue looking on. Um, Aisha saying hello to everyone. I hope you're doing good today, Maritza. I'm glad you're doing good today, Keith. That's good to hear. Everyone's saying hello. Oodles and caboodles of crafts. Hello. How are you, Vicki? Thank you for coming in. It's good to see you. Everyone's dropping their link. If for some reason you uh, type Crojo Corner and somebody else types it at the same time, it won't drop. So um, you'll just have to redo it. That's all. And everyone's dropping their links. Make sure you grab each other up. Hi, Susan. How are you? Thank you for coming in. It's good to see you. We're looking at 35 free patterns today from Jamie from. What is it called? Jamie from Babbles, Dabbles and Babbles. Let me get your comment off of here. Let's see. Yay, I love the emojis. That's cool, Carrie. I'm glad you like them. I'm excited for you. Yeah, they are fun. I love fun emojis. Okay. So these, uh, this is a chunky triangle scarf. This is really cute. Bulky weight and a 12 millimeter hook. And you only need 110 to 120 yards, which is very, very good. Look at how cute this is. 
Love that. Super cute. That would be really fast. That would be super quick to make. And this is called Chunky Triangle Scarf. And these are all by Jamie from Dabbles and Babbles. And this is called the Asymmetrical Modern Poncho. This is super cute too. Eight, uh, eight millimeter hook. Aaron Waite Lion Brand Heartland is the yarn. And it just comes in one size adult, it says. But it looks like you could probably make it bigger, add some extra rows if you needed to. Or, you know, you could even make it smaller, make less rows if you needed to. That's really pretty. I like the trim. Oh, it's not showing it. Let's see. There's like a little trim around the one edge. That's really pretty. It looks simple. Love that. <clears throat> And let's see here. This is the Easy Cozy Blanket. This is using super bulky weight and an 11.5 millimeter hook. And um, you're using about uh, 1,000 to 1,100 yards. This is so pretty. Look at this. This yarn is gorgeous. I don't know. I think it is. I'm going to go ahead and head back over to chat while you guys look at this pattern and see what you guys here have to say. Dawn Aaron, Loving Hands Creations, is here. I'm here. Sorry, I'm late. Hi, sweet Laura. Hello, sweet Dawn. How are you? Thank you for coming in. It's good to see you. You are never late. I'm really just getting started here. Angel Renee says, I really like that cardigan. Newbie questions. You have a Ravelry library list. We can go <clears throat> and view past feature patterns. Well, I think if you follow me, like if you go to my Ravelry, and um you like you can become my friends that way it's probably easier to find i'm not really sure but if you go to my profile let's see if i if this will work here profile so if you go to my profile you can go i think it's mm, 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 mm. i thought it had a thing on here my favorites yes click on faves Okay, see where I had that right here where it says 1,454 faves right there? You can click on that, and then you can see which uh, ones I have picked out that are all the freebies. And I pretty much have them categorized. So that's helpful. So I hope that um, helps you. And other people, if you want to go back and see the list. And Dawn says, hi, Oodles. Dawn is saying hello to Sally. Angel Renee says, my question was answered. Ha ha. Oh, okay. <laughs> and let's see here. Asia Joe says, hey, Laura and everyone in the chat. Hope you are all enjoying today. Yes, I am. And uh, Donna and Keith are dropping their links. Famous last words. I'll just look at a pattern for pattern list for two minutes, seven years later. Right, Carrie? I know. It gets overwhelming when there's so many. Asia Joe says, just lurking, I have had a terrible headache and all that fun spring summer jazz. LOL, lots of water and tea this way. Uh-oh. You have uh, a rela relaxing day. Get yourself hydrated. I hope your headache feels better. Thank you so much for the super sticker, Angel Renee. I really appreciate that, my friend. This is for you. That's awesome. Let's see. We'll do this one. Thank you, Angel Renee. I really appreciate that. That's really sweet of you. So let's get back to Ravelry real quick here. And let's look at some more patterns. Okay, so that one was called the Easy Cozy Blanket. And I thought that was just super cute. I mean, look at how, I love how big and chunky it is. And the colors are just lovely. And what yarn are they using? What if they say? Bernat Baby Blanket Yarn. Okay, super bulky. And an 11.5 millimeter hook. And then here we have the Ocean Tide Infinity Scarf. And this is uh, using super bulky Loops and Threads Country Loom and a 6.5 millimeter hook. I thought this was so pretty. 
I just, I love cowls. I think they're so cute and they are very easy to make. They work up quickly. And if you just have a little bit of yarn, it's a great project. So this is called the Ocean Tide Infinity Scarf. All of the, <clears throat> excuse me, all of the patterns I am showing today are free. And they are all different categories. So make sure you stick around. Now this is an easy cat bed that you can make. And this is using a bulky weight. Uh, Loops and Threads Charisma yarn is what she used and a six millimeter hook and you only need 164 yards, she says, and it makes it 12 inches in diameter. So we're talking kitten here. Well, not really. I mean, I guess they can curl up pretty small. So, I mean, as long as your cat's not too huge, this should work. How cute is that? They would love to sit in it at least. And that cat is just adorable. So that's nice, and it's just called Cat Bed by Jamie from Dabbles and Babbles. And here is a cute little iPhone case, and it says down here that you could use it for, um, you could just increase or decrease. It says you can use this pattern for any phone <clears throat> or tablet. Just increase the amount of stitches at the beginning to accommodate for the extra width. These would make great gifts too. And these are super cute little phone cases. I love that. Don't you think that's cute? Very nice. Super easy. And then we'll look at this too. This is an easy cat toy. And this is using Aaron Waite. They use Red Heart Super Saver Solids and a five millimeter hook. Just a cute little toy with a bell on it, which I do not suggest putting bells on cat toys because I had a cat toy with a bell on it and my cat almost choked to death on it. My kitten did. He bit it off and then it was stuck in his throat. So that was scary. Don't ever get cat toys with bells on them. Please don't. Okay, this is an easy can cozy. This is super cute. This is using worsted weight and a six millimeter hook. Perfect for the summer coming. You can just theme them to your decor outside or to whatever party you're having. Love that. I love those colors. They're so beachy. Now I'm going to... Go back to chat real quick here. Hi, Christy. How are you, Christy Yarnbarf? Hi, Laura. Hello to everyone in the, in the chat. I hope you're doing good today. And Carrie says, I can never get the form and keywords on the same day. Oh, man. And uh, Granny says, hey, Christy. Sabrina says, hi, Laura and friends in chat. Hope all is well with everyone. I'm doing well today. Water in my cup. Just back from physical therapy for hubby and, and breakfast at Denny's. Ooh, yum. What did you get? Did you get eggs over my hammy? <laughs> I remember my friend ordered that one time. We were at um, Denny's and it was quite late after a night of drinking. And she just looked at the waiter and says, I'm going to have some eggs over my hammy. And I just busted out laughing. And every time I think of Denny's, I think of her saying that. And um, Christy's laughing at Carrie. Yes, Carrie has a great sense of humor. I love it. Granny says, I'd have to make a giant one for my grandkitty. Yeah. Oh, he's a big fat so. I used to have a big fat so, but he passed away a year ago. He was a big fat orange cat. I would have had to make one bigger than that. That's for sure. But now I have small cats. Um, let's see. Everyone's saying hello. Oh my God. Poor kitty says Sabrina. That's funny. We were talking at Ursula's today about how they make yarn out of different things. And I had seen a video that you could like brush your cat and then you can spin the fur of your cat and make yarn out of it. I'm like, that's weird. I never would have thought about doing that. I guess you could do it with dog fur too. I never would have really thought about that, but it would be kind of cool to have like yarn made out of your cat and then like make like a little um, amigurumi of the cat out of the cat's um, for yarn. I thought that would be kind of cool, but I don't know. I would never do it probably. Okay. So this is called the easy can cozy. And then we have these cute little fingerless gloves here. Now, all of these patterns I'm showing you today are free and they were all from Jamie from dabbles and babbles on uh Ravelry. And these are really cute. I bet you these would be easy to make really quick. I really like the colors that she chose. These are really pretty. I wonder how fast they would make up. I like that stitch. I don't know what it's called, but I like it. Very nice. And this is called Elizabeth Stitch Fingerless Gloves. Well, I guess it's called the Elizabeth Stitch. Hello, Laura. 
sometimes I say the dumbest thing. Okay, winter wonderland scarf. And this is using bulky weight and an eight millimeter hook. This is super cute too. And I always say everything's super cute. And I always say everything's beautiful or gorgeous. Those are like my three key phrases. <laughs> I am crazy. Okay, so this is really pretty. Here's the stitch up close. I think I need some more coffee. So I love this. I love the colors. That's a nice scarf. It would look great in a lot of different combinations, color combinations. And this is called the Winter Wonderland Scarf. And this is called the Crossover Block Stitch Baby Blanket. This is using Cascade Yarns, uh, bulky weight, eight millimeter hook. Isn't that pretty? Now let me go back to chat real quick. I don't think I'm too far behind. Sabrina says, I was thinking of making yarn out of my dog's fur. Ooh, let me know if you do. I'd love to see what it looks like. And Christy's saying hi to Dawn. Asia Joe says, LOL, Sabrina, I have a husky and understand that one. Yeah, you guys could probably just pick up tufts off the floor every five minutes. Even after you vacuum, it's just like it comes right back. Um, it says, uh, Sabrina says, for my dogs is very soft, white, and curly. Ooh, that would be cool. Yeah, dog hair and cat hair as yarn is too gross for me. It would smell like wet dog. Yeah. And uh, that's gross. The vacuum bag here, they can have a cat hair. Yeah, <laughs> right, Sheila? I know. I have a rabbit, but she's not like, um, she's not an Angora or anything. But you know how they like pull the yarn? Like I was watching this lady spin yarn off of a rabbit. She literally just was spinning it like right off of the rabbit. Like while it was, the fur was connected. I'm like, isn't that hurting the rabbit? I mean, you can pull off a little bit at a time, but after a while, it seems like it would start hurting their skin. Uh, Granny says he's not so fat as he is, has such long, fluffy fur. Yeah, that always makes him look so fat. And Bot has something made from her dog's fur, LOL. That's cool. It would be kind of cool to have, like, as a memento of your pet. You know what I mean? I mean, not for something to wear, but maybe, like, you know, like a little amigurumi that looks like your pet. And Carrie's laughing at Sheila. Everyone's saying hello. Spring does too, Christy. That's cool. And Donna says, Granny D, uh, my kitty is so skinny under all her fur. It just amazes us. Yeah, sometimes you can't even tell how big a cat really is. You know, like when you pick them up, they're like skin and bones, but they look big if they have all that long fur. What stitch was it? I missed it. I think that was called the Elizabeth stitch, Carrie. Beautiful, says Sabrina. Asia Joe says, oh, wow, you can actually use dog fur. LOL, I didn't realize. I caught the chat combo late. Haha, <laughs> I wouldn't actually. My dogs are a hot mess express and love being in the mud and dirt. Ew, yeah. I wouldn't want yarn made out of that then. And Joy says, hi, Christy. You can make a whole new dog. Yeah, I bet. And Granny says, not right. I don't think Nikolai is skinny, but he's not fat, just fluffy. But I know what you mean. He's not fat, just fluffy, says Carrie. I wouldn't throw, wait, I wouldn't know how to cure clean or make it though, Laura. So it's a no-go for me. It's just his fur grows so fast he doesn't shed. Oh, wow, Sabrina. Let's see. Angel, if you want to drop your link, type Crojo Corner, all one word, and then your link will drop. And let's see. Uh, Donna says, uh, Granny D, she is just eight pounds, so she's pretty tiny. Aw. I have you playing, but I am grading again and have the sound turned off. Okay, that's okay. Thank you for still being here, Kim. Sabrina says, Laura, I like your idea of an amigurumi of the pet. Thank you. Have to go to the grocery store before it starts raining, so I'll have to catch the replay. Y'all have fun. Hugs. Goodbye, Granny. Drive safe. Have a good day. Carrie says, Elizabeth, Elizabeth Stitch, thank you so much. Yes. Be careful, Granny D. Okay, I'm caught up in chat. Woo-woo. All right, let's go back. And this is called the Crossover Block Stitch Baby Blanket. That's what this one is. And then we have a cute bag. This is called the Aligned Cobble Stitch Anytime Tote using worsted weight and a 5.5 millimeter hook, 610 yards. And this bag is 17 inches wide by 14 inches high. So this is a nice big bag. Oh, my arm is getting sore. Isn't that pretty? I love it. It's so big. 
That would make a great beach bag or just a regular tote. It would make a great project bag, honestly. And then we have these boot cuffs, which are nice. Um, this is called the Elizabeth Stitch boot, boot Cuff. I really like that Elizabeth Stitch. I need to try that. Is that the one that goes backwards? Like you have to like do it forwards and then you got to cross over and do it backwards. It kind of looks like it might be that stitch, but I'm not sure. Let's see. I like it a lot. Lots of texture. These are great. These are good for craft shows too. If you can display them in a nice pair of boots. That's a great craft show project. And this is called Cobbles and Ladders Infinity Scarf. This is gorgeous. And this is using bulky weight and an eight millimeter hook. I think that's really pretty. Oh, look at that. Very nice. That's a nice pattern. Cobbles and Ladders Infinity Scarf. And these are all from Jamie and Jamie, J-A-M-E-Y, from Dabbles and Babbles. Okay, and then here we have the Easy Breezy Buttoned Cowl. I think this is gorgeous. This is um, using worsted weight and a six and a half millimeter hook. You need about 260 yards. Isn't that pretty? And then you'll need like three big buttons. I really like that. Oh, wow, it's dropped three degrees since I've been on in the last half an hour. I'm looking at my temperature here in the corner of my computer. So here's what it looks like before it's, you know, put on. Very nice. I like that. Let me go back to chat real quick so I don't get too far behind. Sabrina says, love baby items. Gotta buy me a baby girl doll to dress up. I know. It's like I need to have a little baby in my life. I don't want to be a grandmother yet, though. <laughs> my daughter is only 19. <laughs> Sheila says, love the boots. Yes, I do, too. Hi, Zach. He says, hey, y'all. Sorry, I forgot. Laura goes live. I even got a notification. Silly me. That's okay, Zach. At least you're here. It's good to see you. Are you off today? Sabrina says, I want a baby girl grandchild so bad, and all I have are boys. Yeah, there's just something about a baby girl. And Ursula says, I'm back. Had a warm bath. Burr, it's cold here. Ooh, I'm jealous. It's starting to, you know, warm up around here, and I miss the cold weather. I'm a cold weather. I love autumn. I love winter. Autumn is my favorite season. Winter is my next favorite. Carrie says, I'm always at work on Tuesday, so I never get the keywords. Ah. Oh. Well, you can always watch the replay. <laughs> Angel Renee today says the Elizabeth Stitch was a roving, oh, with a roving would look nice matching boot cuffs and cowl. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. You should make some. Zach's Craft says it's hot here and calling for thunderstorms. Yeah, it's kind of rainy here. I think that's why my shoulder is hurting. Carrie says, hi, Ursula. It's cold here, too. And Ursula says, Carrie, yeah, we're heading for winter, but I think it's here now. Oh, wow. Hi, Grammy Colleen. How are you? I hope you're doing good today. She says, I just made it. Well, I'm about halfway through or so. And um, let's see. Susan Burke says, hello. Hello, Susan. How are you? It's good to see you. Thank you for coming in. And Zach's got to work at 3.30. Uh-oh. Oh, well, that's okay. At least you have a job, right? That's why I always think. At least you have a job. You know, when you don't want to go to work, at least you have something to, to do, you know. And let's see here. Grammy says, hi, Ursula and Yarnbarf. Everyone, hello, says Susan. Okay, everyone's saying hello. All right, let's get back to these patterns. So this right here is the Easy Breezy Buttoned Cowl. If you're just coming in, all these patterns I'm showing today are free, and they are all by Jamie from Dabbles and Babbles. This is the Aligned Cobble Stitch Fingerless Gloves. Super cute. These look like a little bit longer than the other ones that she had. Very textured. So those are nice. Uh, fingerless gloves are also good for um, craft shows as well. Now this is pretty. This is a cute little primrose dish cloth. So that must be the primrose stitch on that baby blanket. That's why they called it that. 
I'm just silly and I didn't realize that. This is using worsted weight and a four millimeter hook. You need about 150 yards for a nine by nine washcloth. That is so pretty. I love the colors. Love that. Let me go back to chat real quick here. I don't want to get too far behind. And Grammy Colleen says it's my birthday. Shh. <gasps> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Grammy Colleen. Happy birthday to you. And many more. Yeah. I don't sing as good as Ursula, but I tried. <laughs> I, we just usually don't do the hip hip arrays here. I should have done the hip hip arrays. <laughs> Susan Burke is saying hi to Yarnbarf. Dawn says, Granny D, sorry if messenger name is different from my actual name, but it's me, LOL. <laughs> Sally says, I have to go and take my cat to the vet. He had a bad seizure this morning. Oh my gosh, Sally, I hope he's okay. Sending prayers for your cat. I'm a big cat lover. Carrie says, happy birthday, Colleen. Grammy Colleen crochets, happy birthday, sweetie. Hope there are many more in good health, says Ursula. Yes. Thanks for all the ideas. You are very welcome. And let's see. Grammy Colleen says, very cute and got to love the texture. Yes. Oh, no, Sally. I pray that your kitty will be okay, says Christy. Yes. Laura, have you said the word? I just came back. <laughs> Aisha, I only say the words on Tuesday. So there is no words uh, on Friday. The word is only on Tuesdays. Um, Angel Renee says, happy birthday. And Colleen says, thank you all. Please have patience as I get my memberships and stuff redoing, LOL. Aw. And VJ says, happy birthday, Grandma Colleen Crochets. Welcome back. I tried to watch you last night. Thank you for being here, VJ. It's good to see you. I hope you're doing good today. Everyone's saying hello. Thank you, Ursula, says Aisha. Happy birthday, Grammy Colleen. Everyone's saying hello. Laura, did you say what poncho you are wearing? I love some summer light stuff. This poncho is the light and airy poncho um, from Creatively Created Crochet. Let's see. It's kind of twisted now. Let's see. Whoop. It's twisted now. <laughs> it's not on right. But yes, this is the... Um, Light and Airy Poncho from Creatively Created Crochet. It's super easy and fun. It was one of my very first products that I did when I started uh, first back crocheting again. And I really do love it. I have one in black and then I have this purple one. And then I have another one that has like pink and yellow and stuff in it. It's really fun. So let's see here. Sabrina saying hello to everyone coming in. Love the turquoise color combo, says Grammy Colleen. I do, too. Happy birthday, Colleen, says Roberta. Roberta just celebrated a birthday, too. And Don Aaron says, oh, Sally, sweetheart, I'm so sorry. I'll keep your kitty in my prayers. I will, too. Carrie says, I'd have to, I have to back and watch four live streams to catch up on the code words. Oh, I'm going to make a big effort next month, though. Is it only Tuesday for the keywords? Yes, it's only Tuesday for the keywords. And... <laughs> That's funny, Aisha. <laughs> okay, kitties in our prayer, says Colleen. Yes, for sure. Yes, it is. Um, Grammy or uh, Ursula, that's exactly it. Uh, my phone and the weather, says Grammy Colleen. Sabrina says, hi, Aisha. I'm so sorry I missed your live celebration today, honey. We were at an appointment and out. Oh, I didn't even see that on there. Otherwise, I would have been there. I'm so sorry, Aisha. Uh, Grammy Colleen Crochet says, your poncho is beautiful. Thank you so much. Hi, Nisi. She says, hi, Crojo. I'm taking a break from working outside to eat lunch, so I'm here for a few minutes. Good to see you. Thank you for coming in, Nisi. I know you're a busy lady. The colors are gorgeous. Yes, thank you. Uh, Angel says, I will look it up on Ravelry. Thank you, Laura and Ursula. I think she had, I think uh, Triple C has her patterns half off right now, If I if I'm not mistaken. And let's see here. Everyone's saying hello. BJ saying hello to everybody. Hi, Sunita. How are you? Happy birthday, Colleen. Still at work listening. Thank you for coming in, Sunita. It's good to see you. I think I am getting caught up in the chat. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we've got here. So that was the primrose dishcloth. 
Then we've got the Aligned Cobble Tea Towel. This is really pretty. I like this a lot. This is worsted weight in a five and a half millimeter hook. Isn't that pretty? I really like that. Do you guys make wa uh, towels? I only make washcloths, like for dishcloths. Those are the best, best dish. Bleh. Those are the best dishcloths are the um, crocheted ones. But I do find, I don't know, like as soon as you use them and they hang up, you know, to dry, you know, after you use them one time, then they smell like sour already just after one day. So, but I noticed like the regular cotton ones from the store, like the regular, you know, dishcloths, they don't do that. And I just wonder why that is. Why do they start to stink so so fast? This is a round crochet bag with a tassel. Now, round bags are really popular. I always see them at Target, you know? And this is using worsted weight and a 5.5 and a 4.5 millimeter hook. And you only need 200, and, 200 to 250 yards. Now, like I said, all of these are free patterns if you're just now coming in. Isn't that cute? That would be a cute project bag too. You know, just a different shape, something different. Love that. And then this is called the Color Block Backpack. Now this reminds me of those little monkeys, the sock monkeys. And this is using Cascade Yarns DK weight, four millimeter hook, and you'll need about 900 yards. This just totally reminds me of the monkey. What do you call it? Sock monkeys. Those were really popular a few years ago. It's adorable. And this is called the color block bag, DK weight, five millimeter hook. And this is using 660 yards. This is really nice. What is this? Uh, she doesn't say what stitch this is, but it sure is pretty. Does anybody know what stitch that is? That's nice. Oh, look at how they attach the rings. I've never done a purse like that with rings, so that's really cool. And this is called the color block bag. And I thought this was really cute, especially since it's summertime. This is called a plant pod cover. And this is using worsted weight and a five and a half millimeter hook. And you'll only need about 110 yards. That would really brighten up someone's hospital room, wouldn't it? I'm going to go ahead and go back to chat real quick before I get too far behind. Everyone's saying hello. see here everyone's saying hello hello dawn says okay i better get back to work oh i know it's so hard when you always get sucked into lives oodles and caboodles of craft says hello to everyone i missed and uh her name is vicky and yarn barf is saying hello to sunita vj means something else here says carrie oh <laughs> uh aisha says sabrina that's okay Um, I love me the boho bags. They are making a comeback. Oh yeah. I love the boho bags. When is the blue hat anti-bullying drive end? Um, Sunita would probably know that. I do not know. Sabrina says, I haven't made towels, only dishcloths. I think it's because homemade ones are a lot more thicker. Oh, okay. I haven't made towels either. Am I too late? Says Grammy Colleen. Too late for what? <laughs> You're never too late. I love that bag, says Grammy. I do too. What time are you on today, VJ? Says Joy. I do not know. Let's see if she's still in here. Carrie says, germs can only live in water, sunlight, and will help not smell. Hmm. Margie says, hi to everyone that I missed. Thank you for being here. VJ's coming out at 3 o'clock central, provided I stop and braid my hair. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. Sabrina says, Laura, I keep mine in a bowl of bleach water, or you could hang the dishcloth on something to get air through it. I do. I hang it over like my faucet and let it air dry. That's what I do with all of my dishcloths. 
And the ones from the store never stink, like after one use, you know, after like if I wash dishes after dinner and then the next morning I go, my dish rag doesn't smell yucky. Only on the ones that I've crocheted, like only on the handmade ones, they smell. I don't know why. Maybe because they're so thick that the water doesn't get all the way aired out. I don't know why. It's like I can only use them one time and they start to stink real bad. <laughs> but my regular dishcloths don't, so I'm not sure. Carrie says, I don't know what the stitch is actually called, but it looks like a checker plate, LOL. If anyone works in construction, they would know what checker plate is. I do not work in construction, but thank you. Maybe um, somebody will know. Yes, brightness for a cheery mood. Happy colors are uplifting. Yeah, that's what I thought. It would be perfect for a hospital or nursing home or something. Redoing my crochet space so I'm out. Everyone have a great and safe weekend. Bye. Goodbye, Donna. Good luck uh, redoing your space. Joy says, use a thinner cotton yarn and knit would be thinner too. Okay. Boho bags always in with me. I love boho. Anything boho. Have a blessed weekend, Donna. Not the end. Yes. Uh, Sabrina says, I think the store ones are thinner and maybe treated. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe they're treated with something so they don't stink. Hi, Mishi. Thank you for coming in. It's good to see you. And uh, Grammy says, away from the chat, the TV is going now. Okay. And Carrie saying hi to Mishi. All right, I'm caught up in the chat. Let's get back to these patterns here. So this was called Plant Pot Covers by Jamie from Dabbles and Babbles. All of the patterns I'm showing today are from Dabbles and Babbles. And this is the Granny Square Kids Picnic Basket. Picnic Blanket, not basket. <laughs> and um, this is using DK weight, 5.5 millimeter hook, and uses about 1,610 yards. This is really cute. Those are interesting color choices. I never would have thought about that, but it looks really nice. Perfect for a picnic. I would I would totally agree with. And this is measuring in at 38 inches square. And it says each square should be five inches across. And then here we have a modern tea towel set. This is using worsted weight and a five millimeter hook. The large tea towel is 21 inches long by 12 inches wide. The small tea towels are eight inches square. And the I-cord loop is four inches long. These are really cute. I like those. I really like those pot holders. Modern tea towel set is what this is called. And this is our last row here. And this is called the Ombre Textured Blanket. And this is using worsted weight and a five and a half millimeter hook, 1800 yards. And your blanket will be 36 inches wide by 52 inches long. That's gorgeous. I love the um, tassels that they put on the edges here. So pretty, lots of texture. I love that stitch. Let's see if we can zoom in. That's gorgeous. There seems like there's a one, two, three, three different types of stitches on that, which is nice. Love that. And then we have this really pretty basket. This is called the geometric basket with a nice little chevron pattern, super bulky weight, eight millimeter hook, and your basket will be 13 inches wide and 17 inches tall, and the handles are five inches long. Love that basket. That's perfect to put your yoga mats in and all your yoga stuff. You just put it in the corner and it would look nice. You don't have to carry it around. I love that basket. How about you guys? It's called the geometric basket. Super bulky weight. Let's see. It's using Plymouth Yarn Encore Mega. Never heard of that. Now, I thought this was really cute for Christmas. And this is called the Snowflake Present Sack. So if you wanted to crochet your own gift bag, this is your this is your chance. Uh, worsted weight yarn and a 5.5 millimeter hook. You'll need about 800 yards. And the bag will be 26 inches long by 15 inches wide. Isn't that pretty with the snowflakes on the front? And I love the little uh, white pom-poms. They look like snowballs. So cute.
I love that. I actually think I had that um, wrapping paper from the Dollar Tree last year. <laughs> Just so you guys know, not that you care. And then we have the Simple Shells Light Wrap. This is using DK weight and a six millimeter hook and you'll need about 800 yards. And it is about 18 inches wide and 58 inches long. This is so pretty, light and airy. It's called the Simple Shells Light Wrap. I love that. Isn't that gorgeous? And this is the Simple Shells Light Wrap DK weight and a six millimeter hook. And then the last one that I have to show you for today is the Baby Bumps Blanket. I thought that was gorgeous. Um, it's using bulky weight, a 10 millimeter hook and 780 yards. And it measures 28 inches wide by 30 inches long. This thing looks squishy. Oh, I want to just squeeze it. It looks so pretty. Isn't that nice? I really like that. Love it. Let me go back to chat real quick. Yeah, let's see. Christy's welcoming in Mishi. Yes. And Mishi's saying hello. Kitchen rags thinner, 100% cotton, says Chris. Um, kitchen equals rags equals thinner, 100% cotton. Yeah, that does make sense. It is thinner. So that's probably what it is because the air probably isn't getting through the thick yarn. Sabrina says, I don't think a towel would get as smelly as a dishcloth. I don't think so either because it's not going to get soaked. Like a dishcloth gets soaked and it gets all the, you know, your gross food on it when you're washing your dishes. Wooling around with Joy says, textured blanket is pretty. Isn't it so pretty? I love it. Maybe I'll make one, says Sabrina. Yeah, that'd be cool. Beautiful granny picnic basket. basket. Blanket. Why do we keep saying basket? Blanket, says Ursula. That ombre textured blanket is gorgeous. Isn't it though? Joy says, I think I had that wrapping paper too, lol. Isn't that funny? We all must shop at the same place. Angel Renee says, that looks so cute for a playroom. I know that basket does. I know. That would be great. Love the colorway, says Mishi. And Oodles and Caboodles of Crafts says, love that blanket. Yes, I do too. I do too. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed um, today's little today's free patterns. Um, I'm going to go ahead and head out because I have to go to my mom's house after this. So um, thank you so much for watching. And if you're watching the replay, thank you so much for making it to the end. I really appreciate it. Uh, Christy says, sorry, cannot stay. I will catch up later. Need to take care of business, but wanted to leave thumbs. Thank you for all of your research. You are welcome. And I'm heading out anyways. And if you haven't left me a thumbprint, I really would appreciate it. It helps me a lot. And um, I will be back at um, on Tuesday at 1 o'clock Central Standard Time. And if you are a member, I am having my members only live an hour before I start. So that will be at 12 o'clock Central Standard Time. I know Nisi usually goes live from um, 11 to 12 Central Standard Time. So hopefully that works out for everybody. And um, I hope everyone has a great weekend. And I'll talk to you soon. Have a great day, everybody. Bye. <music>